Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a little haul for you. I'm going to share with you guys some stuff I got at the bins as well as one thing that I got at the regular thrift store. I paid up a little bit for this item, but it's okay, so we'll just get into it. So this coach belt bag is what I paid up for at the thrift store. They wanted $34.99 for it, which like hurts my soul a little bit, but it's so nice and I feel like it can be worn by literally anyone and it's pretty big too. Like that is not a small belt bag, especially compared to like the Lululemon one. I feel like the Lululemon one is literally like this size, so in comparison. So that's super nice. $34 hurt me a little bit, but that's okay. So this rest of this stuff came from the bins. This is a long champ backpack. I've never found a long champ backpack before, but these nylon bags really do pretty well. And this is the style of the bag in case you've never found a long champ before and you're curious to know what the style is. Right there is the style. It's a pretty nice bag. I swear like 12 year old me would have absolutely died for these shoes. Are you kidding? The, the brand is Splash and they have some like, I don't know, waving to this material that's on here, but I had to get these. Oh, uh, what size are they? Oh goodness, they don't have a size, that's gonna be fun. Mm, I would say they're probably like an eight. But yeah, they're really cute. Okay, next is probably my favorite thing. This is a purse. <laughs> it's an armadillo. It's a stuffed animal armadillo. And the brand is Accoutrements, and it's from 1996. Here's the brand there on the bottom. And it literally opens up, and you can... <laughs> You can stick, you can't fit your phone, I don't think, by any means, but like half of my hand fits in there, so you could put like keys and a card <laughs> in your stuffed armadillo. Oh, I'm gonna leave this back up. <clears throat> oh, I'm just gonna leave it unzipped, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. And comps on these are like. I think like $75 or so. I'm like, look at his face. I don't know. Armadillo bag. Okay. So now we're going to get into the clothes. This I thought was a super cool t shirt. Jack found this one. Cowboys. And it's on a Salem tag. Ow. It's on a Salem tag. It's an extra large. <clears throat> this is so cute. This is like a leather little mini jumper dress. And here's the back. And it's got, I think it does have a brand actually. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, it's a size 40, so whatever that means. And here's the brand. I've never found this brand before, but like I said, this is like a suede dress. So I thought that was cute, good for fall. <clears throat> This is so cute and perfect for like Thanksgiving. It's an anthropology top. I've never heard of this brand before either. <clears throat> this is the back, by the way. But here's the brand. Flower That Girl. And here's the anthropology tag. And this is the size small. This retailed for $130. I just thought that was so cute. Super happy to find that at the bins. <clears throat> Next, I got this Lafayette 148. It's like a moto, I think it's like more denim than anything. Plum jacket, also really great for fall. And this is a size 8. <clears throat> These, a lot of stuff today at the bins was uh, store pulls. And this was at the regular Goodwill for $7.99. And everybody passed on it. And Maybe you already know the brand just by looking at it because they have like a very telltale style. But this is just Kalali and they have the tags still on it, which is nice. They are 29. There's the interior tags so you can see. But they have like flowers and cheetah print and then the brand is actually like Emilio Pucci does. Like it's all in the pattern. So those are nice, but they're skinny so... 
We'll see how they do. <clears throat> but I couldn't leave them behind, obviously. This is another store pull. $7.99 they wanted at the store for this and nobody bought it. Probably because, if you can see, it has that hole right there in the back. But I think this is a, well, they cut it out. But it's a Faraday sweater. This is a really good brand. People like this brand. And I feel like you can easily fix that little hole. This is a size small. It's a really nice color. This is such a cute jumpsuit. Can't really see, but it's like a wide leg, white eyelet jumpsuit. There's some fabric in here. They have like puff sleeves. And this is by Hutch, which is another brand that is sold at Anthropology sometimes. This is a size small. Here's the back. So that's really cute. This is a brand I would have been super excited to find a few years ago, like super excited. <clears throat> but now it's just like, okay. Bryn Walker, it's like a linen wrap top. It's gray and it is a size small. There's the back. It's got that like lagging look going on, which is a great word to put in your keywords for things like that. This. <laughs> I don't know. It's a romper, <laughs> so it's like a shorts. And then the top has like this cutout, if you can see. And then it's got these like older style buttons, these plastic buttons. The back is kind of plain, but it has a tie, which is really nice. The brand is Petite Sophisticate, and it's a size too petite. I don't know. I don't know. I thought somebody maybe would like it. It's cute in a way. <laughs> it's cute for somebody. Um, this is Baby Gap. I just couldn't not get it. It's a little reversible Sherpa and puffer jacket. This is, I think, a two years size. This is so cute. Uh, it is a size 14. This is Tory Burch. It's got like this palm, like tropical leaf cutout. And it's navy and white. It's like a midi dress maybe, knee length dress, and it's a size 14 so that's a great size, it has this keyhole cut out too right here, so that's really nice. These are another pair of skinny jeans but I couldn't leave them, they are opening ceremony, which is a designer brand but resale, mm, we'll see, these might go to the real real or maybe to a buy sell trade store here. <clears throat> Next, I got this, and when I saw it, I just thought this was perfect for Thanksgiving or for fall with all these flowers embroidered on it. And I believe I've sold this brand. Here's the brand. I believe I've sold this brand before, and the back is plain, but I'm not exactly sure what the comps are. I just thought it was perfect for this time of year, so I grabbed it. <clears throat> and then last, I got this. No, it's not a Hudson Bay blanket, but it is similar. This is the brand Pierce. It's upside down, but let's see if I can flip it. There we go. So this is like at least from the 50s because this brand stopped being a company in the 50s, but it is a super nice wool blanket and there's nothing wrong with it. No holes, no nothing. So. That was super nice. And that's all I got, friends. So um, if you want to leave a comment letting me know what was your favorite item that I thrifted, that would be cool. And um, if you could hit the like button on your way out again, if you watch this video, I would super appreciate it. And I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.